a proud past. You learn until the grave. And a promising future. Ohio University continues to be a leader in terms of what is going on around the world. The Patton College is on the verge of enjoying its quasquicentennial experience that will be our 125th anniversary, September 2011. All year long, our theme is celebrating a proud past and a promising future. Let me now begin to move forward with introducing our invited guest. He served as vice president of Botswana from 1992 to 1998, before serving as the third president of Botswana from 1998 to 2008. Please join me in welcoming him. Thank you very much, Chairperson, both for that good introduction and for singing our national anthem. My predecessor, he said, education is very important for your child. If you give him some education, no man can take it away. And so, the Botswana government, once they had discovered some minerals, generated some revenues, decided that the most important thing was education. In our development plans, education and training became priority number one. That is the background to the program as known to you all, whereby we requested the US government and, and through the US government this university, this Department of Education, to help us develop, improve our primary education, which was virtually building it from the roots, because education was the basis for further education. Primary education is the basis for further education, the basis for training for employment, and the basis for equitable distribution of income among the citizenry. So you can see what important role you played, because the sector in which we were involved was priority number one. It still is. And I'm saying I'm here to give testimony to the vital importance that this university and this group of persons here have to the role they have played in the development of our nation. Thank you very much. Let's proceed. You know, as I look up on the panel, it, this is awe-inspiring. <laughs> I, I asked folks in terms of how long they have been associated with the uh, university, and I came up to a number of 130 years. Oh and, <laughs> and, you know, oftentimes we use the cliche about, you, about standing on the sh shoulders of others who have gone before, and this is you know, a, a, an explicit example of that because I feel as, as the generation of faculty that's following, we, we stand literally on your shoulders. It started with their national development plan, a national commission on education, which really pinpointed the problems of education in the country, primary education in particular. We had two major objectives. Um, to develop a program at the University of Botswana to uh, prepare uh, people to the level of a bachelor's degree and a two-year diploma program. That was one of the objectives. The second one was to uh, carry out a, a service of a program of in-service education for teachers in the primary schools themselves. First thing that I would mention would be the formation of the African Educational Research Network. The, the African Education Research Network was really, uh, was really uh, the brainchild of, of President Charles Ping. He had observed a number of times that universities had a mission in educational development that went beyond the contract mentality. 
that the richness of universities should find a way to be shared and exchanged. And he, uh, he contacted five or six uh, vice chancellors of African universities and asked them if they would be interested in exploring this. Well, of course, as presidents go, excuse me, Mr. President, <laughs> as, as, pre as presidents go, they, they answered yes. They would be interested in, in, in exploring this. Uh, one of my favorite uh, Zulu expressions is "Mfunzo uh, uze ufe," or uh, "You you learn until the grave," and and that certainly is part of uh, what it means to be working on a never changing Africa. And the reason why I make that point is to uh, focus a little bit on the impact of all these wonderful Africa projects uh, on the university, on Ohio University. African studies in this country really is, its, its heartland is the Midwest. At Ohio University, the origins of African studies were in education. And I think that that's extremely significant given the, the role that um, primary education particularly has played in, in African development. I would like to introduce someone here. Uh, Sophie Maute, this young lady right here, she is the daughter of the first student to come as a part of this program to do his doctorate <laughs> in the College of Education. <laughs> and I had the privilege of, of being the advisor for him. Dr. Plogahoff was on his committee. He, see, there's, there's hope you can do this because he did it and he did it with uh, uh, a great deal of, of charm and friendliness to all of us, so we enjoyed him. When he came, he said his name was going to be Texan while he was here, and so we called him Texan. I just want to say that we are positioning ourselves very well to take up this legacy and broaden it and, and continue to affect the world. So Ohio University continues to be a leader in terms of what is going on around the world. Thank you. What I'd like to do now is, uh, Your Excellency, I'd like for, to allow you a few minutes to respond to your general reactions to uh, all of the deliberations that occurred today. Oh, my only response is that I'm glad to have learned a great deal, and I'm proud that what started in Botswana uh, out of desperation for us and the generosity of you people here has become a basis for further expansion, mm -hmm. both in Africa and now into the rest of the world. I'll always remember that. Thank you, gentlemen. Go Siame. Go Siame.